Hey guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, I'm here to present you guys with a new beginner's tips and guide as that of December 2020 for those beginners out there who would still want to create a new account in this game and have a really good head start right off the bat and I'm here for you guys to help you guys with the basic contents in this game. Alright, let's get this started. First of all, I would want to talk about the selection recruit that is going to be made available for you guys right off the bat when you start a new account and selection recruit can be done over and over again for unlimited number of times until you are satisfied with whatever you have got so far the problem is that you cannot get a fate core hero unit or generals from this list right over here guys so you might be asking who are the best fated hero units that you can actually settle down with well try to get awaken geon he is really good at dealing damage against the opponents whether it be the single target or whether it be the aoe damage so he's really great candidate indeed and uh, early on in the game he's definitely going to be a really great help for you guys with all those damage that he can provide and i would say he's the best choice and the second best choice is going to be a healer and her name is Yoa. she can provide a lot of heal and she can also provide that aoe damage that can be quite helpful for you guys to speed clear the contents uh because like faster the faster you can clear the story contents more the contents you can unlock real fast in this game all right so that's that guys and the next thing that i want to tell to you guys that try to level up your main core units real fast okay uh, because leveling up is going to be the main or primary way of powering up your hero units very effectively in this game and when leveling up try to give them those kind of experience scrolls that actually correspond to their element like let's say this unit right away is of the light element try to feed that light scroll to her and she will be able to get that bonus experience with which she can actually gain more experience and possibly gain higher levels all right so that is it guys and the next thing is going to be the exos festa well the exos festa is not available for us right now it's only available for the beginners that's what i actually managed to discover after creating this new account so try to do it as soon as possible because it's going to be out there for like seven days and when you complete it, like all of them, you will be able to get this amazing stuff right over here, which is not amazing later on, <laughs> right? But the thing is that you will be able to get this uh, Fate Core of Jeon, which is going to be quite good for the beginners out there. I mean, like, it's like a husband unit right over there. And uh, by completing all these kind of minor missions, you will be able to claim amazing, amazing rewards right over there, which are quite helpful for the beginners out there, including Exodiums, which you can use later on in order to... Um, summon the units from the door to creation which I'm gonna be uh, talking about a little bit later all right next is that please try to visit the villas or city area you know like from time to time because there are so many things that you can do uh, from there as well first of all guys there is now an ongoing event where Liffy will be coming up to you and she is going to uh, provide some really good reward to you guys all right including the fate core Dorga, who is one of the really good unit in the game, she provides that passive healing and definitely she is going to be a really great help for the beginners out there. And I've already claimed that of my today, okay? So uh, she's not popping out right now. And the next thing is going to be the events. Yes, you can actually um, you know, like access certain type of events only from here. Like let's say the 7 days of gifts, new thing right over here. Uh, you can claim it from here. Next is going to be the 7 days of gift, another one as well. Yes, uh, this is what I was talking about, the Fate Core Dorka, okay? She's a really great unit and especially if you are right now starting a new account definitely you would want to keep on visiting that Liffy in order to gain this kind of rewards right over here next is going to be the account level reward yes you can get that one as well think about it guys at level 55 you can achieve up to a total of 5000 says right over here 2000 over here 12 100 right over here 1000 over here that's a lot of multi summons ladies and gentlemen that's a lot of multi summons and at level 60 you can actually get 10 nation recruit ticket as well so try to level up your account real fast as well all right and that actually takes me how to level up your account real fast well try to do the story contents more the story contents you are going to do the more the account uh, experience that you are going to get and your account uh, is going to level up real fast in the game all right so try to do the story contents and more the story contents you are going to do more the quests are actually going to get unlocked okay because daily quests are also very important because later on when the story is going to be over this is going to be your main source of getting those account experience points 
clients which you can do on the daily basis and start leveling up your account because as I told you guys a little while ago at level 55 account you can get 5,000 sets which is humongous amount of sets okay and that is that and the next is gonna be a simple tip guys all right whenever you are doing battles in against the opponents you might have actually been facing that very long extended animation of the special moves uh, at first it actually looks very good good to see all of them but later on when you keep on looking the same thing over and over and over again you might just want to skip it right well there's a little bit of trick first of all you need to go into the settings okay well just click on this uh, top right corner go into the settings and go into the game settings and right over here guys skill effect mode put it on fast uh, basically it's on normal originally all right and in normal the um, skill animation is very very long okay uh, first it it kind of looks good but later on you might get fed up with it and putting it on fast actually allows the characters or your hero units to execute their skills really fast and it actually saves a lot of your time especially if you are grinding in a certain content like let's say in the core raid all right Next is going to be the auto power saving mode. I usually put it on off, okay? Uh, and the next thing is going to be this skip airship effect. Try to put it on off. Basically, it's on own, okay? So just try to off this effect right over there, guys. Uh, these are the ways how you are going to save a lot of your time in this game. So that's it and done, guys. There is a new system that has been recently implemented in this game, and that's going to be the eternal bond, all right? So just go into this top the right corner and then click on this eternal bond right over here guys and in the eternal bond you will be able to pick one of these two generals over here all right one's gonna be Schmidt, next is gonna be Jinai and you might be asking who is the better one if you are getting awakened Jeon then try to go with Schmidt because Schmidt is a really good general that actually favors awakened Jeon and later on you will have a really good fight against the opponents out there but the thing is that like it's gonna take you guys about one month <laughs> <laughs> in order to get that general so be patient with that all right so first try to get this uh, schmidt that's gonna be really good but if you are really a waifu lover then Gina is gonna be uh your choice as well but just her basic version is not really that effective okay o only her fate core version is pretty effective so i would say as a beginner i really don't think like she's gonna be of really that great great help to you guys okay uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, later on, uh, when you actually manage to get her fate course, she's definitely going to be a really great stuff out there, and especially with the signature force. But for the beginners, I would say Schmidt is a much better choice as a general. So that is it, guys. And the next thing is uh, try to do three star victory on your battles, all right? Because, like, when you do the three star victory in the battles, you can actually have this chance to lay your hands on this amazing amount of chess, guys. 200 plus 80 plus 50 right over there. That's, I think, about 330 chess per each uh, chapter, okay? There are multiple chapters out there, guys, and I still have to gain, you know, like, a lot more star right over here uh, that are pretty much missing because I did not fulfill the conditions out there. Yes, you need to fulfill the condition, you know, the battle conditions in order to uh, acquire all those three stars and when you manage to get a perfect star uh, victory on any kind of chapter out there you can get a total of like 330 says out of like each you know like chapter out there guys and that can actually allow you to do a lot more summons right off the bat very early on in the game okay so try to do that guys that's going to be really really helpful to you guys especially if you are a free to play player and the next thing is that please 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 try to clear up to chapter 10 asap right now i'm in chapter 5 episode 3 right uh, because there are so many contents in the game that are locked behind the story progression the more you progress through the story the more you know like features will get unlocked in this game with which you can actually start climbing more rewards and start having more fun in the game as well so that's that guys please try to clear up to chapter 10 asap because after uh, you know like by chapter 10 there will be so many corners that it will already be unlocked and you can start having a premium access to this game all right so that is it guys everything will be unlocked by then uh, except for some features out there guys all right some minimal features out there and next is gonna be the coupon code i mean like who does not really like the coupon codes right and now you might be asking hey Janos, what are the coupon codes that are still working right now so let's see how to claim the coupon codes in this game click on your main menu top right corner and then after that one go into the settings just like we did a while ago and click on this input coupon right over here you also need to note down your airship name be sure that you know your account airship name all right and click on the input code and you will be actually taken into the another website 
all right right over here all you need to do is select your server where you are where you have created your account and then write your airship name all right blah 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 uh, you know like whatever your airship name is and the coupon code is going to be the first one is going to be exos okay with this one you will getting a tons of sass and the next coupon code is going to be heroes all right i think it's a little bit case sensitive i guess all right uh, but i really don't think that it's going to be any problem at all if you put all small letters but just try to be case sensitive and just in case uh exos heroes and final is gonna be growth one okay this <laughs> will allow you guys to get about 1300 says if i'm not wrong about 1300 says with all these three coupon codes so try to claim them right away and you will be able to get a lot of says to start with and that's going to allow you to get a lot of summons and that's going to be really helpful out there to have a really good smooth gameplay right away because like more the summons you do better the units that you are going to have and definitely it's going to be much easier to accomplish all those stuffs out there in the game right so that is it guys and Next thing is going to be through the achievement. Yes, you definitely want to get more sense in this game, right? Why not? <laughs> so as a beginner, you definitely want to check out in the diary right over here on the right, hand, right, right side of the lobby screen. And then after that, go into the achievements. This is the place where you will be getting tons and tons of sets. And the most easiest uh, and the largest amount of sets that you can actually get is through the uh, transcending of your hero units all right as soon as you start your account try to transcend your hero units and you will be able to claim up to 1200 says right over there i'm like for a starter that's a lot 1200 says that's nearly nearly two multi summons ladies and gentlemen all right and there are so many other amazing uh, achievements right over here that you can keep on doing in order to claim early says which can really allow you to firepower your account through the continents right away so try to keep on doing them try to do your daily missions and weekly missions as well so that you can claim some extra sets right over there plus a lot of levi stones and many more levi stones are pretty much the stamina in this game all right higher your account level the more levi stones that you can actually start Hoarding up, all right. I think uh, a maximum of 450 Levi stones you can actually hoard up at a time at level 60 account. So that is it, guys. And that's it and done. Let's try to find some exodiums. Exodium is like another way on how you can do summon in this game. Uh, yes, there are varied varieties of ways to get the heroes in this game, and there are various types of summons as well. All right. So. Oh, whenever you are exploring through the map try to look for like this kind of forest all right if there is one and if you find like this kind of icon right over here floating around the forest you need to do the forest exploration all right and whenever you are doing the forest exploration there is actually a gaze or a bar that will keep on filling up all right and when it fills up to the max the exodium will drop all right and 10 exodium equals one summon and i just got 80 exodium that means i can do eight summons well i'm gonna show it to you right now like where to do the summons all right so let's do it let's do it ladies and gentlemen let's go to the door to creation right over here and let's skip that one that shit okay and now we can actually go into the craft book craft and then after that craft book well there are other stuffs right over here as well which i really don't think is going to be that important for the beginners okay so let's not talk about them let's just talk about the craft book right over here well try to do this dimension recruit with the golden clocks that you will have i think as a beginner you will be given a lot of golden clocks right away and you can do a total of up to like 10 summons with the gold uh, golden clock out there and if you are pretty much lucky you can even land up uh, a Faded hero unit and you can do the exodium recruit right over here as well i got 191 exodiums that means i can do a total of 19 summons so let's see if i can actually be quite um lucky but before that one you might want to see that what are the expected rewards you can see that like we can get a lot of faded hero units and just like the selection recruit uh you can easily see that we cannot get the fate core hero units but if you are lucky you can actually get general units like bathroom right over here so let's see if i can actually get, get quite lucky with this account right over here am i no <laughs> because the rates are really low okay so anyways that is it and with the friendship points and other various other stuffs you can actually convert things like uh, metal of duel into levi stone so that you can keep on playing this game even longer but don't do that don't do that <laughs> okay for now don't do that because you will be needing that arena medals in order to um, exchange for some amazing amazing other stuff like memory of the generals uh, which is a little bit advanced content all right so that is it and now next thing is gonna be the core raid if the core raid is pretty much available 
right now as you are playing try to do them guys they are very nice content and they are pretty limited contents as well you will be able to get a lot of core raid uh, coupons with which you can actually claim a lot of items from the core raid shop all right and this kind of items can really allow a beginner to have a very amazing head start in the game right away like let's say ultimate command abrasive that can allow you to level up your equipments real fast book of experience that can allow you to level up your hero units really fast guys uh serious crystal i think this is for the uh, uh the for the blessing purpose i guess I think this is a blessing material, all right? That's gonna allow you to upgrade the star rating of your hero units and blah, 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 and so on and on, all right? This one is for the enhancing purpose and many other items right over here as well, okay? So try to keep on doing that one. I do have a really detailed guide on the core rate, so if you want to check that one out, you can actually go and check them out, all right? And try to do the core rate pass as well because there are a lot of sets that you can claim from right over here, even as a free-to-play player. If you can actually spend up to like $20, I think you can unlock this premium pass and start getting even the Fate Core Hero Recruit Ticket. All right, now you might be asking, hey, Janos, what type of hero units are really in this game? All right, well, there are various types. Let's try to look right over here. First is going to be the Fate Core, who are like the main ultra rare unit in this game. All right, and for them to drop from any kind of summon banner, it's going to be about 1% chance. They drop really, really hard. And you will know when they drop by their summon animation. It's like a red light animation. Next is going to be the Fated Hero, which are like SSR units in the game, and they have 3% chance to get dropped in the game. All right, and usually Fated Hero units are very, very good hero units. And next are going to be the legendary heroes and they have 15% chance to be dropped thanks to the signature force they are pretty uh, effective recently before they were pretty much piece of thrash all right but now they are pretty effective next is going to be the rare hero units they have like 30% chance and magic uh, hero units all right the thing is that when it comes to rare and magic you can just sell them right away unless for some specific units like let's say geon or iris which are needed in order to upgrade their fate core version like let's say gold fate core um, geon or let's say gold fate core iris wars like by base they are supposed to be a rare units but thanks to their fate core you know like this one person chance stuff they actually have become one of the meta units in the game all right and they are i'm mean, like they are so good they may not be the meta but they are pretty amazing units <laughs> nonetheless all right and you would really want to transcend them so for transcending purpose you would really want to have the dupes right uh but if they are not really that notable units you can actually sell your common magic and rare units right away in order to claim a lot of gold and we, but before that one we actually need to summon let's try to summon let's take the advantage of the ongoing event that's providing free summon for everyone okay so if you are starting your account right now you are you are having a very good timing, ladies and gentlemen. You are getting so many cool stuff right now. And one of them is going to be this free premium recruit. And let's see if I actually can get quite lucky in order to get it. Like, you know, a very useful unit. And it seems that like, oh, man, this is so bad summon. Oh, my God. Anyways, right over here, I can show you that this one is a legendary unit with the four star with the three star this one is a rare unit and with the two star that's the magical unit and with just one star that's going to be a common unit and well the common unit is not right over here so well <laughs> let's just go back and let's start sell selling our hero units for some extra gold gold is gonna be very hard item or let's say a luxury item that you know, like you cannot just afford to waste okay so use them very nicely all right and the best way to get extra gold is by uh, Selling your uh, selling your hero units that are the common, magical, and rare. Okay, just click that one and confirm, and then select all right over here, just like this. Confirm, and well, all are here right over here. How easy it is, right? I don't have to really click them one by one, but some of the common hero units are good. Like let's say this underwalker rats okay these rats are very awesome especially when paired up with the battery. They can break the guardian stone of the opponents, which is a little bit higher advanced. You know, like stuff which i'm definitely going to maybe talk in the next video all right and that's going to allow you to break the opponents really effectively and possibly be able to deal more damage to them all right uh so that is it guys anyways try to you know like have at least one copy of the underwalker rats all right they are going to be really helpful later on especially if you have battery in the team and now anyways now let's sell them and let's receive ninety-six thousand gold yeah I mean like do the normal contents and you are gonna have so much hard time to get 96,000 gold.
but now right now just by selling the hero units i actually got them uh this symbol is for the later contents i mean like when you are already having a lot of gold and you are in the late game content only at that time you are supposed to disassemble your hero units in order to get the heroic tokens which are needed for like awakening i guess all right and various other upgrades are there so that is it guys anyways after saying that one guys I think I already told that one, keep on doing the daily quest in order to get a lot of account experience points, right? And next thing is that, please try to make a friend right off the bat when you start a new account because he or she is gonna be very, very valuable indeed. First of all, you can get uh, alliance point from there which you can later convert into like levi stones from the door to creation that's one thing and the next thing is that you need to have at least one friend in order for that broken airship to pop up you will get one broken airship roaming around the map when you are done with your daily quest so let's try to do our daily quest right over here i think this is going to be my last daily quest of the day and i will be able to see one broken airship popping up i think because it's kind of really big issue for the beginners out there okay so it's actually being done automatically that's a really new quality of life feature uh, being made available in this game and i'm pretty much loving it guys because before we had to do it manually and it actually used to take a lot of time but now you can just auto it sit back chill relax and just you know, like watch everything being done for you uh, in due process or like say in due time so that is it guys and you can see a broken airship is now out there for the broken share airship to occur First condition, you need to clear the daily quest and you need to have at least one friend because this airship actually belongs to this friend of mine known as Garnet, all right? So now let's click on it and now it's gonna go back, guys, all right? And you might be asking, why talking about broken airship all of a sudden? Is it really that important? Yes, it is, especially for the Exos Festa, <laughs> okay? Because I think there is this one particular mission which says complete broken airship and i gotta fix three of those and you are only gonna get like one of them per day okay one per day so i need to do that like for three days and i will be able to be done with those three broken airships okay so they are pretty much limited once per day and i really and i'm not really supposed to like miss out the chance on claiming or helping out those broken airships so there we go guys uh try to have friends for that reason as well okay and uh, next thing is gonna be use door to creation for those exodiums and everything that's what i actually told you guys a little while ago <laughs> i have a list right over here and next thing is gonna be number 17 hero slot expansion and inventory hey guys i think i really have to tell it to you guys please try to expand your storage facility in your management heroes as well as your inventory management because like sooner or later you are going to be seeing a lot of that message being popped up in your screen over and over and over again that your slots is already full it's already over 105 right now and then like you have to come back and start selling or just dis disassembling your hearing it so that you can free up your space uh, and only after that one you can start playing and blah 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 and it can be very irritating out there guys so why not actually start uh, considering you know like improving your slot uh expansion all right and try to expand it and if you're asking me what's the healthy level at which we should be taking it to right away and i would say for the beginners i would say try to get it up to at least 500 and with that one i mean like it's a really bit really a lot of relaxation i mean like only after like several days you would want you would have to come back to this list right over here and start disassembling or selling your units so it's really good quality of life feature right over there guys all right so that is it for the um, um for the uh, you know like inventory guys uh try to keep on improving your uh, storage spaces as well but i think the 200 storage space is pretty enough for as a beginner but later on you would definitely want to improve the space so try to do it why not uh spending yourself for the uh, like inventory expansion is going to be like one of the best way to use the cess in the game all right and later on uh, the best healthy level is going to be like 1000 ex expansion slots for the management heroes and 1000 slots for the inventory that's going to be the healthy level all right so that's it and done let's move on to the next point and that's gonna be try to six star those kind of units who have burst effect on their skills for example 
Let's look into Scarlet right over here. Let's look into her skills and let's look into her second active skill. There is actually a burst effect going on around right over there, guys. So what is a burst effect? Burst effect is a very unique feature in this game that allows you to use extra amount of mana in order to deal more damage than that is listed right over here okay or that is mentioned right over here because like originally she is only supposed to deal 285 percent damage to all the enemies right but if she has that extra mana she's going to use that extra mana or let's say for for example if she has seven mana she is going to use all the seven mana instead of just five mana right over here in order to deal more damage maybe about like 300 percent damage to all enemies so that's how it works, okay? And with that one, definitely you will be able to land more damage against your opponents and uh, maybe have that possible victory right over there. So that is it, guys. But the thing is, why am I telling to 6-star your those kind of hero units who have best effect on their skills? Then the reason is, when you are going to 6-star this kind of units, they can actually store up to 10 mana. Because at first, they can only store up to 5 mana. Until 5 star, they can only store up to 5 mana at a time, alright? That's going to be their cap uh, highest capacity. But later on, in the 6 star grade, they can store up to 10 mana. And with 10 mana, they can even deal more damage and put a very big smile on your face. So that is it, guys. Uh, best effect actually are present in so many other hero units out there, especially mentioning Mathrie. Uh, Fate Korani, uh, Fate Korera, and so many other units uh, that can actually deal some amazing damage against the um, AoE, AoE opponents. And there are certain units like this right over here, uh, like Adams, who can actually deal this burst damage to a single target, 600% damage at uh, 4 mana, but if he has 10 mana, maybe he can deal up to like 1000 damage to one enemy. So think about it, it's a huge damage boost, alright? So... Try to 6-star this kind of units so that you can actually deal more damage against your opponents and possibly win the boss battles which you were actually were not able to do before, okay? Where you might actually be get getting defeated uh, before, you might actually turn out becoming victorious instead, alright? So that is it, guys. guys. And, well, after doing so many contests out there, you might end up getting a lot of sass, right? And you might be itching to really use your sass like... Hey Genos, how to effectively use the SES? Well, first, I told you a little while ago, try to use it in to expand your management hero's um, slots, as well as your inventory slots. And the next thing is, try to always save it for the new hero in it that is going to show up in the Fate Core Chancer banner. Alright? Um, after, like, compl after completing chapter 4-1, I think, there's supposed to be, like, a SOC banner that should have popped up. I think... The uh, conditions have been changed. Why is the SOC banner not popping up right now? I'm still <laughs> having some issues with that one. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that try to use your SES only on the Fate Core Chance Up Summon banner, okay? This is the way how you are going to get premium units. Try to watch out for my videos or other YouTubers as well who might giving you a really good uh, suggestion that like, are you really supposed to spend your sass in these banners or not okay and if i go a really good go signal like for example this fate coin right over here you must really go and summon for this unit right over here you, sh you should be going all right because these are the units that are pretty much meta and they can actually provide a lot of help to you guys not only just in pve cons but also in the pvp javan Estonia battles all right the arena battles so that is it guys Try to save the cess for this kind of units right over here and that is the way how it's done and later on you can also resort trying to do the string of creation ray banner when it actually gets unlocked which should have been already unlocked i don't know why it's not unlocked till now <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. But anyways, you can do it later on. But SSC banners are not really that kind in nature for the free-to-play players. Because it can actually consume a lot of sets out there. So I would say Fate Core Chance banner are the best choices out there, guys. Alright? To get the new hero units and to start boosting up your roster right and finally guys be observant of the events i mean like as a beginner being able to take advantage of whatever the events is ongoing in the game is definitely going to give you guys a really great boost to your account progression these are the events that is going to allow you to get like those extra stuffs that extra 
items that extra whatever that is that's going to allow you to upgrade your account maybe or upgrade your characters heroes blah 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 and so on and on and on and even getting those extra sets and possibly one of the rarest material in this game which is known as the holy water of universe this is the item that is going to be required in order to get your hero units from five star to six star okay yes you heard me right to get the hero units from five star to six star you will be needing like at least two holy water of universe if you are lucky you can actually get them from the uh, blessing sanctum which is from the challenges all right uh, but you can also get them from the events so don't really miss out on these events because these are very rare they really don't drop that easily but when they drop they drop at like really good amounts all right so that is also really one good thing out there so these are going to be required in order to get your heroiness to six star and possibly improve your roster even better and making your core team very very strong indeed against your opponents out there all right and try to become a part of a air squadron right away please do it <laughs> please do it okay it's gonna really provide you a lot of benefits start you know like you can even start asking for those um you know like hero fated hero unit memory shards uh, after collecting like those memories you can actually summon those hero units as well and you can actually talk with your members as well and start asking them for like favors or let's say any kind of like um, help tips whatever you may call it and there are other things that you can take advantage of like let's say the air squadron battles or let's say the guild battles through which you can actually start getting a lot of rewards like let's say 700 sets every week that's so good isn't it right if you keep on managing to get 700 sets per week that is a really good uh, amount of sets and you can get it from the air squad battle so try to uh, take advantage of the air squadron try to become a part of your air squadron right off the bat okay that's it and done guys one another warning that i didn't want to give to you guys that never spend your sess in summoning the weapons it's not really worth it always save your sess to only summon the hero units that's the only thing because these weapons they only provide some extra stat boost and that's it uh, they don't provide any kind of like skill boost uh, or passive boost or whatever you may call it or new skill trade or whatever that is they don't provide anything like that one so they are pretty much not really worthy of the sets that you have okay so don't do that don't really do that and last thing lost as a beginner definitely whenever you log in into the game uh, you know like in the first hour of the day try to complete all those daily grinds I mean like the daily grinds is going to refer to the growth okay first of all go into the uh, this exploration map go into the challenge and go to the growth and this is the place where you can actually do all this stuff from where you can actually get a lot of materials that's going to be helpful in order to upgrade your hero units real fast in the game blessing sanctum can provide you the holy water of universe you can get a lot of other uh, amazing stuffs out from the solar trade route and the lunar trade route especially those items that can allow you to upgrade your equipments and possibly getting other equipments as well right uh, because like when you start a new account definitely you will be having a lot of issues with getting equipments in the game you will not have a lot of equipments to provide to your hero units so you can get a lot of equipments from the lunar trade route and solar trade route ancient gold mine is going to provide you guys a lot of gold uh, next is going to be the spirit sanctum that's going to provide you the spirits uh, which is going to be uh, necessary in order to enhance your hero units because like you cannot bless your hero units when they are uh, if they are not max enhanced that's a little bit of like advanced guide okay so later on you will actually start to understand that one don't know don't worry about that one and the experience sanctum come on it's pretty basic please try to do it every freaking single day because with the experience sanctum you can actually get those experience scrolls with which you can actually level up your characters real fast and start dominating the battles and Japanese training is gonna be the pvp content in this game this is the arena and try to keep on doing uh, it in order to get those arena medals as well as testing out the power of your team against the other opponents out there right so that's basically what the arena really is isn't it and there's the upper labyrinth is kind of like a tower and you are supposed to do it in order to claim amazing amount of sets if you can actually do hard mode battles in the upper labyrinth you can claim a lot of sets like 250 sets out of just one single battle so that's real good isn't it and from the hero battle i don't think it's really that important it's like you can just skip it and by the way guys when you are exploring in the map you might somehow find this gold grave robert garrett okay this rat right over here and try to defeat him guys okay so that you can get that one golden clock with which you can do one uh summon and with that one summon if you're lucky you might even get a really good fated hero unit all right so that is it guys and if you are out of the game you might really want to do this uh, exploration or smart exploration mean like even if your device is off switched off you might really want to do this uh 
smart explosions so that like your game is still grinding even when you are locked out of the game think about it your game is still going to grind for you grind uh, for you guys but the thing is like this smart exploration is gonna consume Levi's stone and uh, after a few hours definitely you are gonna get short of the Levi's stones all right and one really big tip that I really want to give to you guys not just for the beginners but even for the mid game and the advanced players is that try to save your Levi stones for the core raid because this is the place where you are going to spend a lot and lots of Levi stones in order to claim a lot of amazing items from the sub section especially the memory of generals like Jinai, Shufrakan, Battery and so many much more okay so uh don't really be very you know like um how to say casual or let's say reckless with your um levi stones expenditure okay please try to keep on saving them because you are definitely gonna need them later on but for beginners i would say afk or let's say this smart uh, exploration can be quite helpful because it also can provide you with tons and tons of uh, other materials that's going to be quite helpful for you guys to actually have a really good head start in the gaming content right away so i would say as a beginner i think it's pretty safe and it's gonna be pretty more uh, helpful and useful for you guys to actually do this okay so just do it and later on when you actually start to get to like new regions because yes there are so different nations in this map when you actually start unlocking like other uh, nations uh, like let's say for example Brun, north one frosty all right you will actually start to get even holy water of universe through the exploration as well so be careful about that one as well so try to complete story chapter 10 as soon as possible to unlock all these contents all right and that is it for today guys uh if you guys have any other questions let me know in the comment section below if there was some uh, intricate or let's say very important point that i really did miss out in this video please do let me know and i would definitely try to come up with maybe next video to actually explain all those kind of things or maybe i will just give you a very good personal explanation right over there in the comment section and if you guys have any other feedbacks opinions insights uh, or let's compliments what do you remember call it please let me know in the comment section below i would really appreciate it all right and that's it for today see you guys in the next video and please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button all right <laughs>